All right, hey guys. Um, I just finished Uncharted 2. Um, it was a good game. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I had a really good time with it. We'll say that there were quite a bit of complaints though. Um, so yeah, it took me eight hours and twenty six minutes to beat it initially, like just a single player. Um, that's straight up non like collecting all the collectibles and all that stuff. So yeah, uh, let's start with the story, I suppose. Um, like the first game, um, it's funny. Like, there's a lot of humor in the cutscenes, and just the commentary that goes along with your party as they like travel throughout the game. The action is pretty good. Uh, if, I don't know. It seemed like there was a lot more action in the cutscenes. Also, they uh, they added auto aim, which was probably one of my biggest complaints about the first game, is they didn't have any. And it feels good in this game. Um, it really does feel solid. And the voice work is really good. I think the single player, though, it just, it's really good. Like, if you haven't tried it and you have a PS3, I don't even know what the fuck you're doing. Um, Alright, so, um, isn't a third person game? Uh, I suppose it doesn't really take as much aiming skill and stuff like that. Like, uh, what do they call it? Twitch or whatever? Um, it's not really Twitch based like a lot of FPS's. So, I don't know, I think third person's are always good for online. The way it works is you have like multiple game modes. Surprisingly there wasn't a free for all though, at least I didn't, I didn't see one. Um, I played like 10 online matches. Uh, but yeah, I didn't, there was like team deathmatch, territories, like capture the flag type game mode and pretty generic stuff. Um, there's also co-op which I didn't try. Uh, it seemed way too much like horde mode on Gears of War. Um, so yeah, in the multiplayer you have uh, basically a Call of Duty perk system style. Uh, you basically you obtain money by getting medals in matches. Like, uh, let's say you get like a headshot, you'll get a medal for that, which will give you like two hundred dollars or something. Or let's say you get a assassination from behind, you'll get a certain amount of money. And basically, at the end of the match, you'll get graded on how many medals you get, and they'll reward you your money and experience for your rank. Uh, the rank system is pretty cool. It reminds me a lot of uh, Halo 2. It's like color coded but it's just like a number. You know, It goes up to 60 I believe. Maybe not. Um, which also leads me to another problem. You you don't unlock stuff. Um, like you have to get that to a certain level before you can unlock it. Like I understand for the perks, but for the uh, costumes, like you get, you have different multiplayer skins and characters to play as. And so, like, I go in there. I'm like, I want to play as Winter Drake. It says, "Nope, get me level 20." So that's fucking stupid. They shouldn't do that. That goes for the single player too. There's so many unlockables, and I'm getting like money for trophies and stuff like that. And I'm like looking at all the collectible or the uh, unlockables, and it's like. Like winter clothes for whatever level you want, like different skins and stuff. And it sounds really awesome and stuff, but you can't use any of that stuff until you beat the game at least once. And uh, for an eight hour game, I, I can't say I'd really want to go play through it again. But that's just me. I, I can't really play through games again. But yeah, the unlocking system is pretty cool and the ring system is pretty cool. Also, there's leaderboards, surprisingly. um. I don't know. The leaderboards work really good. Uh, you have your normal like top top of the world uh, based on kills and stuff. Then you also have your friends leaderboard, which is always a welcome addition to leaderboard. Um, I suppose I can start with my negatives now. Uh, really, Uncharted 2 is Uncharted 1 with new levels um, and multiplayer added. Yeah, they didn't really feel like they fixed much of the gameplay aside from adding auto aim. Uh, I suppose they updated the visuals a little bit, but not too much. I really do like that you go to different environments now instead of staying in a jungle or the facility underground from the first game. Now you go through like snow to like jungle to like desert town, and then you go to like Tibet. It's awesome. The platforming it still doesn't feel as good as Assassin's Creed. Like, free running games should be really smooth, but 
Uncharted still doesn't nail it properly, like, you should be able to grab onto anything that looks grabbable. In Assassin's Creed, you can do that, but Uncharted 1 and 2, you, you can't. You can only grab certain things. But, I mean, if it looks grabbable, you should be able to. Alright, the pluses. Um, just like the first game, the story is amazing. I wouldn't say amazing, but I'd say it's pretty good. Uh, it's nice and funny, and a lot of action, and awesome voice work. Uh, the multiplayer is really good. It's a lot like Gears of War and Call of Duty. Except for with uh, more acrobatics, like, you just throw in Uncharted stuff. Single player. And then... We finally have auto aim, sweet. Alright, the stuff I hated, um, the unlockables, uh, you couldn't use them or unlock them until the end of the game, after you beat it at least once. Uh, platforming, it didn't feel as good as Assassin's Creed. And I wasn't able to connect to a lot of my friends online, which sucked. With all that answered, the final question, should you get this game, um, I think if you own a PS3 and you don't have that many games to play, definitely. Um, otherwise, I'd say rent it if you're not in the multiplayer or anything like that.